so let me ask you why uh, why did you make the comments you made about Craig Wright? I know in the past he's claimed that he's Satoshi and he's the one that owns the Genesis block and you know I don't know whether he lost the private queue or not. Why why did you say what you said about Craig Wright? It's uh, well documented now, uh, very well in numerous sources that his claims are bogus, and um, he also is behind a competitor to Bitcoin, or he's part of a competitor. To Bitcoin called uh, Bitcoin Satoshi Vision, which is uh, an outright the fraud as well. Uh, and it pretty much uh, he's been called out numerous times. Um, he's launched several lawsuits that, that are all either lost or in the process of losing. And um, there he has no basis whatsoever to make those claims. He's been it's been shown that the claims are baseless. And the way he thinks and the way he talks and the way he conducts himself is would be kind of if you're trying to create a character of somebody who knows nothing about Bitcoin, who is the antithesis of the character and the vision behind it, it would be someone like Craig Wright, who's he's a fool. I mean, the people in the Bitcoin community think of Craig Wright as a fool, basically as a fool. He has no credibility whatsoever in the Bitcoin space. He's, he's, he's absolutely laughed at. And in a year or two from now, we you won't hear the name will be forgotten forever. Who who else has claimed that there's Satoshi outside of him? Nobody. Nobody's ever claimed. That's right. Interesting. Uh, do you have any idea yourself? Is there anybody in the community when you talk to you say you know you, you kind of have an idea how this whole thing uh, who who it was or no? It's still something that's unknown. It's unknown, and it's better that it's unknown. Tell me why. Be because if you have a known person attached to it, they become an attack vector. And people will, will, will attack that person. And they and so you don't want that. You want, you know, who invented gold? You know? This is different, though. The, the, it, gold is different than, uh, than Bitcoin, though, than cryptocurrency, though. Well, how so? How, how, who, how is gold created? Through what? What creates Through, gold? Through the uh, you know creation of thirteen point eight billion years ago, the Big Bang and the universe was started, and that's right. elements so collapsed, and stars exploded. Yeah, that's the point. It's not man-made. You know, gold is not man-made. Bitcoin is, crypto is man-made. It's slightly different. You know, it's. Well, a, I, I would argue that um, the inspiration from for Bitcoin is divine. And that it reflects a, it, inner, it, 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 it reflects an inner divine nature of humans. So it is similar to gold in that way. If you believe that God created everything, including gold, then you would also believe that God created Bitcoin. So you think God created Bitcoin? Now, now we're do you think God? Started. Do you think God created gold? I don't think man created gold. Well, do you think God created man? That, that is the agnostic position. Let's just say there is a creator and okay. God created so, man. So, and everything in creation goes back to the creator. That would include but, but everything. God, I can't say God created a car. A man okay, but the a reason car. I say that, the reason I say that is to make that position is because the, I realize that it's, a, it's an interesting position, but it's also you have, the effects that Bitcoin are having on the world are quite interesting in that it's bringing about a realignment of the way people think about themselves and about their economies and about their communities. Uh, because, for example, Bitcoin encourages people to save money, which is different than encouraging people to spend money. Mm -hmm. It's like when, you know, you have, um, I'm sure that as part of what you are doing over there at your company and you talk to your employees and things like that, you know, one of the ideas you want to get folks to understand is to not go too far into debt. Don't overconsume. Be self-sovereign. Be your own person. Yep. Yep. And be, have inner strength and morals and values. And then those values are carried over into your work and your family and your community. And so, you know, you can't do that with fiat money because fiat money is inherently debt-based money. And the more you they issue, the worse the economy gets. And it's extremely... Uh, a, a poor system. Whereas gold, you know, people who who buy gold and store gold, they have a kind of a different attitude toward I agree. savings. Okay, yeah. so Bitcoin, Bitcoin From is a savings technology. There. Bitcoin yeah. is a savings technology that changes people in profound ways. 
They think differently about their communities, about themselves. It has a very positive effect. It's, a, it's passive resistance. You're opting out of the fiat money system and you're now saving Bitcoin. It's like you would save gold. And you look at the millennials and the Gen Z and they're like, you know, this is actually a, in, in a world with leaders are corrupt and mentors are not available and the, the, our uh, business establishment is run by people of dodgy character. You know, I'm, I'm finding my, my uh, inner kind of strength by saving and achieving individual sovereignty. And yeah. uh, I'm doing it through Bitcoin. So that's why I say it has a, a celestial or divine quality about it because it makes people, um, it raises people's consciousness and raises their character. And that's an important thing that for folks to understand and to, it's part of the process of maturing, right? You know, you have to, you have to take responsibility for yourself. Uh, 